Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. We're here in Grunty's Lair near Bubble Bloop Swamp, which we got nine jiggies in last time. We had to skip number 10 because of the sprint shoes. But we opened up Freeze Easy Peak. We got this note door to break down. Let's do it. So I played a little bit of this already, and then that storm that was going on messed me up. So it's a good thing I made a save state before opening that note door. <laughs> so I kind of know what I'm doing, at least to get to Freeze Easy Peak. Which is what we're going to be doing this time. So we got to smash this for the shock spring pad and jump in the pot. Too bad you're not going to get my first reaction to this. I was very uh, surprised. I didn't... It's not what I expected at all to be inside of this pot. I'm not sure about the desert world. I'm typically not a fan of them. But yeah, I wasn't expecting this at all. This is how you get that jiggy. Just crazy. That makes number five of ten in the lair as well. But yeah, that totally surprised me the first time. I didn't really play too much. I got to freeze easy peak and kind of walked around a little bit and then... The thunder was getting really bad, so I just figured, you know what, I made a save state, let's just stop before something happens. Uh, so over here, I did explore this, we've got waiting boots to get across the quicksand, which I'm assuming is the desert world, but I don't know where the puzzle to that is yet. So we gotta go in this room. And this room is full of spider webs that I discovered eggs break. Which is nice. I don't know why that one's important, but this one... Gives us our matching cauldron, so now, if I start over, I can just hop in there and get over here very quickly, which is nice. That's it, you've created a shortcut. Hop in and see, and now we're good. So I think I have enough notes to keep going forward, which is always interesting when that happens. We'll go up here first and see. Don't have enough for that one. There's another warp pot down here, or cauldron they're called, that's right. Nice color, whoa, I didn't mean to jump into them. I'm a little bit out of it. Uh, if my math is correct and my every other day plan continues to be what happens, this is the video that's going up the day that I fly to England. What's up, Brentilda? Maybe it's worth it to talk to her. Spider pancakes for breakfast, okay. Maggot pie for dinner, that's disgusting. Warp bags and finishes with eyeball ice cream, okay. Try to remember that. There's something up there. Oh no! That's a little to fix it, but Freeze Easy Peak is over here. So get excited! Typical Christmassy world. I don't know why a lot of snow levels go for that theme. It makes sense. But I like it very much. This is probably one of the best worlds out of both games, I would say. And I'm excited to fully experience it for myself for the first time, really. The peak's got another new move waiting for you. Yeah, we need it. Oh no! And Boggy! The first time seeing him. My stomach aches, I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Someone help poor Boggy. This is another one I remember my friend telling me. Clear as day all about Boggy and his troubles. Such an exciting thing back in those days. I don't really know how to fix them yet though. I didn't get that far. I know he races you on a sled. That's the whole thing with him in this game. He's snowman, dude. We gotta make quick work of him. But of course, we gotta get the 100 notes. Hey, I'm a little bit nervous about the trip. Nine hours on an airplane. I've never been on a plane for that long before. And given everything that's going on, but here's bottles. Yeah, this music is fantastic. Time for some aerial action with my devastating beak bomb attack. Nice one, goggles. Tell me more. When you're flying, press B to launch Kazooie at a target like a missile. 
It costs a red feather each time you use it. And there you go. That's all the moves of Freeze Easy Peak. It's only very minimal, I guess, compared to the sequel, but it's all good. I don't know, I like Christmas themed stuff when it's done right. And this song sounds like something that would be playing in like some Christmas movie during the song and dance musical part of it. Like the happy parts of the Grinch where they're decorating the whole town. There's the lair switch. Yeah, it's probably a good idea to take all these guys out. And there's the Mumbo Token. It's such a simple thing, but it works. A present there for Boggy's kids. Oh. Nuts. Very finicky to aim this thing. There we go. It's gold feathers, alright. Yeah, it's like a giant snowman in the center, and then there's just a couple corner pieces. We got a nice village here, presents on the other side. Like everything about this world just it's it's everything you want in a world. Of this day and age, it beats all the snow worlds of Mario 64, I would say, too. And, like I said, I think it beats Banjo-Tooie's... Ah! Snow level. There's the honeycomb. One of them. The second one, I think, is in the walrus cave. Wait a minute. Jinjo! Yeah, I kind of know this world, because it's one of those ones that you get really excited for. Like, I want to say I watched my friend play this one almost in full. Ecom Pokem. There's Pokem, not Pokem. But I'm going to poke this dude! Yeah, that was perfect aim for once. Well, did you see how far Banjo slid? That was nuts. Ah, here we go, the snowman. This is probably the best part of it all. As long as you don't fall. This part of the music especially. Just mass happiness. Remember being that excited? Oh, Christmas music has that quality to it. It instantly takes you back to whatever your favorite Christmas was. Or a summation of... Several good Christmases. If it's even something you celebrate. It's the whole winter season fervor, though. Kind of as expected commentary, right? Alright, buddy, let's go. George Ice Cube! No, that was the second game. I'll take that, thank you very much. That's number one! And what a one to get first. Alright, now let's be very careful and explore the snowman further. But now that is a problem, though, the commentary thing. Especially now, in 2020, when we're all kind of locked inside. It's like the lack of going out and experiencing new things is greatly having an effect on talking about new things. And the news... I'm a present. Give me to someone sad. And then the perfect part of the music to end sadness, I guess. Uh, let's keep going down on the scarf. Well, this is the pipe. Is there anything in the pipe? Is that a jiggy? What do you know? Yeah, it's very neat. I like this world a lot already. It's just the perfect, like I said, childhood holiday nostalgia. Without being too over-the-top kitty to the point where you would just ignore it. Oh, like, that game's for kids, right? Uh, before we go down the scarf, let's keep going. There's a sled here. Wait a minute. I think I saw a Jinjo, too. Jumbo! Well, that's neat. There we go. Oof. That's better. Hey, you found my sled. I'll go and practice for the big race now. See ya, buddy. Yeah, happy Boggy before he's just fat watching TV. Woo. 
I think this is just as good as it would be experiencing it for as for the first time as a kid back when it came out. It's just a little bit different. I'm seeing it kind of through the eyes of nostalgia. Whereas back then, I think I would have just been living and living it and enjoying every moment. We need to be a walrus to get in that water. But yeah, by far, this was... If I was excited about Mario 64's snow level, this would have had me... Over the top. Another present? Yep. I don't know, a lot of my Christmas stories I've told, like in Yoshi's Woolly World I told some of them. There was one Christmas in particular I remember because we just had a lot of stuff. I think my my dad got a crazy bonus that year. And uh, one of the gifts in the corner was one of those Jeeps that is electrically powered, you know, those, what are they called? For kids, you know, toddlers. You gotta charge them all day, and then you... they drive. <laughs> but I remember my sister saw that and was... she came running in my room and was like, Billy, we have a car! I think that was the same year I got that 2XL learning robot, which I know is repeat commentary from like 800 other Let's Plays I've done. But I remember that 2XL dude. Maybe it wasn't that same Christmas, but... Because I remember Super Mario World and 2XL simultaneously. Just all the smells and the sounds, man. Is that a thing? Oh yeah, the blue ginger, let's get him. But, uh... Mood. Like, you know how they're state-dependent learning and stuff? If you're in a really good mood, are you more prone to remember what's happening in that moment? But then there's the contrary, too. Really bad traumas of horrible events tend to stick with you, too. But then they say, in general, looking back, you always kind of look at the good stuff and forget about all the more annoying things that maybe happened. Whatever. Everything's happy. Look at that presence down there. A nice Christmas tree, all that. I don't think it was the same Christmas as the Jeep thing, but, uh... We got a really big tree one year, that's right. We gotta... Jumbo these things. But I remember we were watching some movie or something in the living room, and then in the other room is where the Christmas tree was, and we heard this crazy bang and shattering of glass, and the tree was so big that it... Somehow, the stand that it was in couldn't hold it, and it just fell over, and so many ornaments broke. Oh, jeez. I remember, I think my mom was upset because some cherished ornament or two broke. I'm gonna fly through that star as well. Or no, that's actually it. The angel on top of the tree, I think, broke. I don't think it was a star. Oh. I wasn't expecting a Jiggy, to be honest. I thought there was going to be... It was just going to open a path, but I guess... Simplicity, once again. Contradicting the happiness of the music. Although there's a sadness to it, too. Do you hear it, or is it just me? It could be a... A mentality thing, I don't know. That's number four! Everything's happy! Oh, let's hit this. Oh, nuts. We'll do that Christmas tree in a moment. Okay, we gotta go way up top, so flight pad. I don't know, we'll see when we get there. I was gonna say something, I don't remember. Oh, I think I mentioned this in something else, too, but what happens if you die mid-Let's Play? Thinking about this trip, how you watching this right now, I may be in an airplane, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't really 
worry too much about stuff. I didn't expect to be going through this many red feathers. So it's nice that they're kind of all over the place. But yes, I got a while to worry about it yet. Because as of me recording this, it's still a month away, but this is the day the video goes out is when I'm going to be flying, like I said. Alright, this, I did test this in my attempt before the thunderstorm thing. Where are the Twinklies? Protect us from the Twinkly Munchers. Yeah, and it's real annoying. Attempt to, one's already chomped. Alright. No, not good. Okay, start over. We gotta time this. Man! Alright, what I've discovered is... Alright, we'll get it going. No, accuracy is a problem. This move is a little bit faster as long as you aim it correctly. I mean, I failed this before I scrapped it, and then I just failed it now. Hopefully I don't this time. Anyway, uh... I don't know, I just wonder what's gonna happen. I got a call to extend my trip. I'm gonna be gone the whole month. Right now it's only two weeks, but I gotta see what's going on. And the airline I'm flying is rumored to be going bankrupt. They filed for some type of bankruptcy. So that's a worry, too. Did it. Yes, okay. Back to the happiness. That was close, but we made it. Switches on. I don't know, this is gonna sound ridiculous, but the sad quality that I'm hearing to the music, even though it's mass happiness, reminds me of my mom, and then that makes me think that I've been a bad son or something. So there's a sadness to it. But you be a star and you'll find your reward. What? Why is it time? Oh yeah, we gotta fly through at times. Okay. I like lights, though. That's one of the things when my parents got divorced. And my mom was constantly trying to make my bedroom at her house feel a little more like home. And that was one of the things she did in the wintertime, is I had my own strand of Christmas lights for my window. And my bed was right next to the window. Which was kind of neat, I liked that. Anytime it was raining, I could just turn my head and see it. Which may be why I like weather so much, I don't know. It's just that coziness, you know, being right up close to stuff, all bundled in a corner, you got lights, and weather happening outside. I don't know. I've always liked nighttime reflections and things like that, too. Even though it kind of messes with my eyesight these days. I was just listening to the music, I don't know. Letting it wash over. The mixture of happy and sad. Happy because it's happy, sad because you remember. And it's over, I guess. That's the whole nostalgia thing, isn't it? An extra life. Don't care. Mumbo! We gotta be a walrus in this world. And we gotta find the one that's not on fire. Here we go. So yeah, hopefully, when I go away, and I don't die, or maybe I will die, maybe that'll be good. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily complain, which is maybe bad to say, but... Bananas and Joe! It's just hard to imagine things ever being good again right now. But that's just me. 
Banjo gone all fat, got big teeth. <laughs> all right, so once again, we can't really do anything. There's no B or Z move. It's just walking around. And the benefit is we can now go in freezing water. And there's a character that only treats the walrus nice or something. And that is kind of strange, but it's all right, but it's all right. Wow, we almost have all the notes. Yeah, I like this world, despite the sad commentary. Always ruining good things, are we? It's just the mellowness that comes with worry, that's what it is. Thinking about the trip and what I'm going to be on a plane. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now the play's not going to be so bad, they space people out and uh... Foggy, let's raise him. If he lets us, do we do this as a walrus? Hey, Mr. Walrus, fancy a race, hop on and sled. Okay. All you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom gates and beat me to the end. Got it? All right. How hard is this, though? So far, not so hard. I like it. Aw, oh, crap, he's picking up speed. Way, there's the way. 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 Be pumping me out of the flags way. now, jeez. What? Way. Uh, well, that's a problem. This is too easy. I'm giving up. Okay, thank you for ending it early. I don't know how I missed that set of flags, but. Oh, uh, wait, did, that didn't count as a death, did it? It doesn't seem to have. I think we're still okay. Man, that would be such a terrible thing if you lost all your notes because of losing this thing. I'm sure they had the foresight, though. Way! The rare noise. Yeah, this would have been amazing as a kid, definitely. Oh, it's like one of the times I heard my friend really excited about a game. This and Mario RPG. And again, I still... Going back to part one, I don't know why I didn't have this game. What the heck? Oh, you can't get it again. Well, now I'm gonna lose. Faster, you're not trying back there. Come on, be a friend. Wait. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, there's notes here. Beautiful. Yes. Oh. <laughs> You're too quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal, I reckon. I need to raise someone my own size. Okay, so we gotta do it again as Banjo. Interesting. All the fanfares. I thought that was a red feather. Okay. So, there were notes right down here. Let's go get them and see where we're at. Oh, hey, there's a walrus doing things. This is beautiful. This all worked out. Wasn't planning it, but I'm thankful. Wow, another walrus. Take this. But watch out for a smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner. Little do you know, buddy. Now, I know there's a honeycomb in here. Woof, woof. Why, hello again, Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around Waza's cave. Waza the Walrus. It's down here. 
Are caves like this warmer than the outside air in wintertime? I don't know. Like this room seems cozy. If you could have a bed and food and just like everything you need to survive and be relatively happy, some kind of entertainment, this would be a cool room to make your house. Those are kind of the kinds of things I always think of whenever I play games like this and find cool corners. That just goes back to stuff I was saying last time about, well, if you spent time actually doing stuff, you could find real life cool corners. <laughs> um, so I guess we gotta come back in here as Banjo to get this Jinjo up here. Well, I thought the walrus hated Banjo. Oh no, well, we gotta work our way back there. Alright, we're back in here as Banjo. And everything's fine. And that was the last Jinjo. Wait a minute. That's the ice key back there. That's right. I forgot. This is, uh... Look at it. Stop and swap glory and also Banjo Tooie being completely elsewhere. I forget what that's all about, but I'm not playing a version unless there's some kind of a code to do the stop and swap stuff, but I'm not planning on it. Although I know in the Xbox versions they included it without having to smash your cartridges in and out. I remember some of the older consoles that actually was a way to activate cheats. It's like cartridge tilting or something. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters on the Super Nintendo was that way. I used to slam that thing in and sometimes it would activate the ability to play as the boss characters in versus mode, which had a button input, but I didn't know it. And I just accidentally figured out that slamming it really hard into the console sometimes made the cheat work. Which is probably not good, but... I'm missing a present. I have two for the igloo up here, which I didn't even go in here yet. I'm actually kind of warm. I turned off the air conditioning because I don't know why I did. I was actually kind of cold. Thinking about cold stuff. Thank you, brown bear. That's right. These kids all want food in the second one. Yeah, where is that last present? Why? Uh, I was hoping he would give me a clue. You can't talk to him in this game, I guess. Okay. So, I gotta go sniffing around for corners. We don't have all the notes yet, either. There's something left that I have yet to see. I don't know, I guess gotta go airborne and search around, I think. Wait a minute, Boggy! Fancy a race against Boggy? That's right, he wanted to race Banjo, okay. Oh no, it's we need the shoes. Okay, well... Yeah, there's no way. This is too easy. I'm giving up. Please don't count as a death. Not this close. Try again. Press A. No, press B. Dude. Oh, I hope I'm not in some kind of weird infinite loop. That'd be so stupid. Okay, now we're good. So very carefully, find a flight pad. I've been flying all over and I just remembered the Christmas tree. It looks climbable. There's a mumbo token. There was a jiggy associated with this tree that shattered. Yep, sure enough. 
What do you know? I literally was airborne wasting all of my red feathers looking every corner at the highest parts, trying to find like hidden alcoves outside. And it's all right in here. Yes! Oh, it feels good every time. Oh, there's a present down there too. Okay. Let's just get these. I definitely need those because like I was saying, I was flying around too much. I got nothing to say, man. It's so bad. That's what I'm telling you. The 2020 issue. Without life experience, there's nothing good to talk about. Why didn't that work? That's eight. We'll grab the present at the bottom. That's nine and ten we have to come back for because of the shoes again. That must be the desert world move or something. Take me to the kids. I'm the last one. All right. Yeah, this is a very nice world when you know where everything is. Roaming around lost again was kind of stupid, but... It's just those bite-sized morsels, man. And so on and so forth. I don't know where I was going with that. Saying more of the same thing. Now we've all got presents. Here's something for you. Number nine. Beautiful. We've got all the honeycomb pieces. We're done. We just have to get the sprint shoes and come back to this and Bumble Gloop Swamp. And then we're all caught up. But there was the jiggy outside here. If there's a way to grab that. Doing great with the notes so far. That's, that's very good. Your feathered buddy that you've brung. Useless like a pile of dung. <laughs> Sorry, I really have nothing to say at all. This is terrible. It's like the scariest feeling when you know you have to be talking about stuff. Uh, I don't know. England's gonna be in a lockdown, kinda ish. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do when I'm there, but. It's uh, worth it. Here we go. But I need the shoes to get to it. Okay. These dang shoes, man. We gotta get them. So we have to figure out how to open the next world, which is probably one of the note doors we have yet to open. Yeah, that's. We're gonna need that to get that jiggy, too. So yeah, since I'm definitely struggling here. I think it's a good spot to stop. And uh, next time we will go open up the desert world probably and head there next. So thank you for watching and I hope it was enjoyable despite the silence. Take care.